Good morning, it's Wednesday. It's the day that we find out what the Federal Reserve has decided to do with interest rates over their two-day meeting. That announcement will come out this evening, UK time. Uh, so far this week, things have worked out as expected. The stock markets have plunged. Uh, well, the S&P broke the 3,800 uh, area, which is certainly a very negative signal, and we've dropped another 100 points. NASDAQ lower. Um, it's all working out quite well. Dollar continues uh, to be strong, which is what we expected. The, the yen is actually breaking down. The dollar's pushed higher against the yen. So it's just continued uh, trends that we've already seen uh, for, for, for most of this year. Strong dollar, weak stock markets. Gold uh, pushing a little bit lower. I think, as obviously, as you know, I'm quite bearish of gold in the longer term. So maybe we'll see further weakness. Of course, what happens today is all down to what the Federal Reserve announces. 0.75% interest rate rise is, I think, the general consensus across the market because we have had a very strong US employment number at the beginning of the month. And of course, we had a very strong uh, consumer price index number and a PPI number, I think, uh, came out this week. <clears throat> All strong. Inflation way out of control, Fed way behind the curve, and the economy quite strong. Uh, you know, people are employed, people are earning money, and people are certainly spending money and using credit as well, despite the fact that, um, that the living costs have gone up so significantly. They really need to do something about this. Now, um, if they raise more than three quarters of a percent, I think there will be a shock to the market, initially at least. So stocks will probably collapse. The, the pound will probably soar. Uh, sorry, the dollar will probably soar. The pound, that's another story. The pound's absolutely collapsed as the UK looks like it's going to be one of the first economies in the world to head into a recession. It's, uh, it's in all sorts of trouble over there. Um, if the Federal Reserve only hike interest rates by, say, half a percent, well, initially the reaction will probably be quite positive for stock markets, a bit of relief, maybe some weakness in the dollar. But I think as the days go by into the end of the week, the market will then think, hang on a second, the Fed's already so far behind the curve. This is not an inflation-fighting Federal Reserve. And I think worries will then creep in that they will have to do a lot more as far as interest rate rises are concerned over the summer. So it could be a mixed bag on a half percent interest rate rise. We'll see. Uh, join me tomorrow morning. We'll have a chat about uh, the outcome of the Fed meeting and uh, see what the markets are likely to do into the end of the week.